Reaching the peak only further fuels the engine. So I said, oh, I can run five miles. Oh, I can run seven miles. And then before I knew it, I was like, oh, I'm going to train for a marathon. Sherry Bryant has been running for eight years and is set to run in the Sugarloaf Marathon in May, even as COVID-19 threatens to postpone or cancel it. She's not letting the virus dictate her plans. I'm going to get up that morning and start at 7. I run along 178. So I'll run a little bit into Old Town and turn around and come back, and then I'll end up at home. Home is where you can find her son, Camden. I mean, he is just this, he's a love. He, he smiled through everything. My first thought was like, oh, I just wish I could stuff the cancer inside of me and just take it away from him. Bryant's son was diagnosed with leukemia when he was 21 months old. I, I counted the days. It was 1,219 days of chemo. That was his treatment. There were like four or five day stints where I would work during the day, go to the hospital at night, get up again and go to work during the day. Like I just wanted to always be there, but I know he was getting excellent care. So that's kind of how I put my mind at ease. Since October of 2015, Camden has been cancer free. His courage has inspired Sherry. I'm going to run for Camden in, in honor of him to raise money for such an important part of our lives. My mantra is be brave, be brave, be brave. That's what I, I kind of chant to myself as I'm running because that's the way I picture how he was every day. In Eddington, Andrew Badillo, ABC7, Fox 22. It's a normal day for the kids at the Learning Garden in Bangor. This is the best day ever! <laughs> Pardon me, the best day ever. I'm originally from Romania, and I talked like this, but then I came to America, and I started, uh, picked up this uh, wise guy accent somehow, even though Jesse's never been to New York. Do you guys like wheels on the bus? Meet Cranston. Wheels on the bus go round and round and Bangor native Jesse Speed, who together bring smiles and laughter to all. Oh, it was awesome seeing the kids smile. I had such a good day, and uh, there's no other feeling like seeing those kids smile. COVID-19 has trapped individuals into small bubbles, a world Jesse is no stranger to. I have a son, uh, Milo. He was born with uh, a lot of various disabilities that made his world kind of small, kind of like we're all feeling with the quarantine. And so I tried to make it bigger for him by starting to do uh, different voices. The voices developed into personalities, like Cranston. I love you. With every song and dance, Milo started to respond. Once he finally started laughing and we found ways to make him laugh, ways to make him smile like our um, my wife and I's life just turned around. The joy I get from hanging out with Milo and my family, uh, there's nothing like it. And I want other people to uh, be able to share those feelings with me. You ready to go back in there, Cranston? Right, I'm ready. See you guys later. In Bangor, Andrew Badillo, ABC7, Fox 22. It started as a simple gesture that rapidly snowballed right before Abby Gilchrist's eyes. I put something out on Facebook and within hours the whole thing had blown up. The co-owner of Fiddlehead Artisan Supply in Belfast started the group Face Masks for Maine and plans on linking up with another group, Masks for Masks. There's a huge, huge need out there. We Together we have over 5,000 masks requested already and the requests just keep coming in. <laughs> Gilchrist's goal isn't to produce and distribute masks, though. I mean, so like Clementine and Rockland. Her plan is much more grand. So what I'm trying to do is get an organizational method to organize everybody who wants to sew and everybody who needs masks. Health officials are urging those making homemade masks to avoid using elastic as it falls apart easier when sanitized. It really can provide a lot of coverage. 
While the reusable fabric masks fill a huge need, they aren't 100% effective at fighting off COVID-19. These masks are better than nothing. They need to be used correctly. If you're using any mask, whether it's a commercial mask or um, a homemade mask, be sure that you've read about how to keep it sterile. Gilchrist also urged anyone interested in making face masks to visit their website. In Belfast, Andrew Badillo, ABC7, Fox 22.